Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 334. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my college website link, and you can download the workbook Excel Magic Trick 332 to 334. In this trick, we want to see how to make a basic invoice from a product list on a different sheet and in a different workbook. And we're going to use data validation and VLOOKUP. Here's what I want it to do. I want to select uh, a product from the Whoops, and uh, there we go. Then I just want my invoice to be uh, completed. Have the product name, have the price uh, pop up from uh, the information over here or in the other workbook, and then calculate a total. And you could have whatever else down here, shipping, tax, all that kind of stuff. But we're just going to concentrate on how to get that part of it to work from a different worksheet and from a different workbook. Okay, so the first thing is we need our uh, we need some data validation with a drop down. So I'm going to come over here and we can't do data validation drop down list uh, from a different sheet unless we name it. So I'm going to name this column here. I'm going to name it skew. Now the way I'm going to do it is I'm going to click in the top cell with the word that's the name the column header or field name. I'm going to Control Shift Down Arrow. So we got uh, like 122 products there. And I'm going to use my keyboard shortcut, Control Shift F3. Control Shift F3 creates names from selections, and we'll name this column SKU. That's a great keyboard shortcut because a lot of times we have data set up exactly like this. Now, I can test it. I can uh, point to the name box, drop down, and point to SKU, and sure enough, it got it. Come over here. I want to highlight the range, and I want to go to data validation data and then validation is right there in 2007. In earlier versions it's the data menu. The keyboard shortcut that works in both versions, Alt DL, DL. List, source, uh, and our name is equals SKU, so I'm going to type equals SKU. The other way to do that is if you forget the name you hit the F3 key. Remember, uh, Control Shift F3 gives us a uh, name from selection. F3 gives us paste name. And actually, Control F3 gives us our list of all the names. So I'm going to double click this, and there it is. Now I have my uh, drop down. Now we need to do a VLOOKUP formula here for product and price. Now before we do it, let's go look at our data sheet. Oh, there it is, product. This is the first column for our VLOOKUP. So our VLOOKUP will be looking up here, going through here, matching some SKU, going over to the second and the third column, respectively, to return uh, the product, pr the respective product price and product name and price. We're going to, in the active cell right there, type equals VLOOKUP. Our lookup value is going to be right here. And now when we copy over to uh, price column, we need it locked, but not when we go down because we want it to uh, look there also. So I'm going to hit the F4 key one, two, three times, column reference lock, but not the row, comma. Now the table array, we have to, to get that table in a formula, it's not a problem. Remember, we had a problem with data validation, but no problem in a formula. We just click on the sheet, highlight the first three, uh, the, the first record not the field names, control shift down arrow, and then I'm going to hit my F4 key to lock it. Now, comma, and we're actually going to have to click back over here on purchase sheet. Watch right here when you're doing sheet references, it puts that's the name of the sheet, data sheet, explanation point says it's a sheet reference. But watch this. When I click back over here on this sheet, watch what gets put right there. It puts and you can see it here. It puts the, the sheet name, but we don't need that, so I'm going to delete it. You've got to be careful when you're uh, doing sheet references, because it'll all once, once you go to a new sheet, it'll just keep putting them in. We don't need that because we're on the sheet. Not only that, but the column index. We need a 2 here and a 3 here. Instead of typing in 2 and then 3, I'm going to use the columns function. Columns. And I'm sitting in B3, so I'm going to type dollar sign B3, colon B3, close parentheses. Right now, it'll give us one, because how many columns are there between B and B? 
1. And I need a 2 here, so I'm going to add 1. This B is locked. This one is not. So when we copy it over to price, it'll say B to C, which will be 2 plus 1 is 3. So that'll work just fine. Comma and our, our, our uh, the true or false, either approximate match or exact, we definitely need exact because that other product list is not alphabetically um, sorted. So I'm putting a 0, close parentheses, and control enter. Now, looks like there's a problem, but that's because there's blanks. What happens if we come here and we select this one? It properly gets that. But let's fix that because if this is blank, then we want this to be blank too. Highlight the whole range, and in the active cell right there, hit F2. I'm going to uh, type equals, or I'm going to put my cursor between the, uh, in between the equals and the V and type if, open parentheses, this cell, and I have to lock it in front of the column but not the row, equals, double quote, double quote for blank, then what do I want? Comma, the value if true is going to be double quote, double quote, which means leave the cell blank. Otherwise, go ahead and the, if that cell is not blank, that would give us a false. Then we're going to run that VLOOKUP. Come to the end and close parentheses. Now I'm going to populate all the cells with Control Enter. Now if we come down here, boom, it works just fine. Now let's do our formula for calculating units times price in the top cell here. I'm going to say equals if this cell right here, that many over, equals blank, then blank otherwise. And we're going to have to round here. This is an invoice. And if we have, um, actually, we'll never run into trouble because we have only two decimals here. If this price, and sometimes prices are, fractions of a penny, you'd have to use a round. But we actually don't have to here because we don't have any fractions of the penny. Uh, that times that. Close parentheses and Control Enter. Now we have exactly what we want for our invoice. If we come over here and select a new one, boom, five. Now, as I said before, you could put your tax formulas in your uh, shipping and totals, uh, etc. But what we're looking about, looking at, is how to uh, get information from another sheet and build a VLOOKUP for the price and the total. Let's see how to do it from another workbook. Now there's a big complication here. You can't do data validation to another workbook, so we're going to do something really uh, uh, sneaky here. Somewhere in the validation, I'm simply going to do a workbook reference equals. I'm going to go up to View, Switch Windows. You could also Alt Tab if you only have one other application, or Control Tab jumps between Open Excel workbooks. Go over here. I'm going to click in that top cell. It comes out as an absolute. I'm just going to hit Control Enter, and we'll edit it over here, F2. That will not work, so I'm going to put my cursor there and hit the F4 key three times, so it becomes a relative cell reference. By default, workbook references are uh, come absolute, but it's easy to change them. Uh, the workbook reference, the workbook name is in square brackets. Data is the name of the sheet, and A2. I'm going to copy it down. That's how many there are over in that other table. So now what we've done is we've kind of stole, uh, lifted the skew column from that other workbook to kind of cheat because we can't uh, do data validation list from another workbook. Now, you probably want this on another sheet if you had your invoices in here or, or however you have it set up. But then you just simply Alt DL, allow list. Source, and then I'm going to click right here, Control Shift Down Arrow, click OK. So now we have from our other workbook. And then we could do a similar formula here, except for inst instead of a sheet reference, we're going to have to do a workbook reference. Equals if this one right here is equal to blank, then blank. Otherwise, we'll do our VLOOKUP. VLOOKUP is going to be that. Comma. Now, here's our table array. We need to go over to that workbook and highlight the entire table. Control Shift Down Arrow. Uh, by default, it's a workbook reference, so it's locked. I'm going to type comma two up here. That's um, 
just temporary. Actually, no, we're going to put columns. We'll do our same trick as before. Columns. Boy, I can't <laughs> spell. One of these days I'll learn how to type. Columns. And I'm sitting in B12. So I'm going to type dollar sign B12 colon B12. And I have to add one just as we did just a moment ago. And then comma. And uh, we're on, that was our column number, and we need range lookup. That is a zero, because we're doing an exact match. Close parentheses on the VLOOKUP, close parentheses on the IF, Control, Enter. Now we have, uh, I already had the formula there. I'm going to test it and see if it works. And that is how to do an invoice when you have a product list. And uh, not only for data validation, but from our VLOOKUP from a different workbook. So worksheet we did up here. Workbook we did down here. All right, we'll see you next trick.